If you are new to my channel and want to catch up, you can check out my YouTube playlist titled Pure Facts and Prophecy or the same category on John1429.org, wherein you can watch the six previous very short videos of this series exposing the long prophesied beast system in Rome. This next prophecy is quite clear. It states that Antichrist will be a strong political power. In Revelation 13.3, it says that all the world wandered after the beast. And then Revelation 13.7 stated that power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. The fulfillment, or pure fact in this prophecy, is that even a Roman Catholic author, Malachi Martin, realized and then stated in his book, The Keys of This Blood, way back in 1990, that the Pope is as determined to be world ruler as was Constantine in his day on page 49. He is protected by four governments on page 120. He is the best known person of the 20th century on page 123. He has personal friends with the leaders of 91 countries on page 490. And then he says people of the world seem to him ready for strong worldwide moral government with control on page 160. And then finally, again on page 490, it states that 16,000 journalists covered his American visit. Now, not only does the Pope have far more than 91 countries in his hip pocket, thanks to what John Paul II did before he died, the Vatican now has 175 nations bowing to their demands. Now, Check this demonic boast of a Vatican priest back in 1909. He stated literally in a sermon that during the 2,000 years that the Roman Catholic Church has been on this earth, which, by the way, is a historical lie, he said that she has warred with nearly every government in this world. The world is full of their ruins. Their thrones have toppled over and fallen. Their dynasties have come to dust, and the governments of the world today will meet the same fate if they challenge the hostility of the Church of God. She remains, she is today what she was 2,000 years ago. She is today what she was during the Middle Ages. She is today what she was during the times of Protestant persecution during and since the 16th century. She is the invincible Church of God. God help the state that attacks her. God help the king that provokes her hostility. Doesn't sound very Christ-like, does it? But then again, they're not there to promote Christ. It's a complete different Jesus, Rome teaches. Now notice what Australian Archbishop Gilroy stated nearly 50 years ago. He stated, the Roman Catholic motto is ourselves alone for fellow Roman Catholics. We must defeat all heretics, or non-Catholics, at the ballot box. The, and I'm not going to say this blasphemous title that they declare for the Pope, but they said that he, the Pope, states that negative tactics are fatal. The demands of this blasphemous title, the Pope, are that the public services should be 100% Roman Catholic soon. Care must be taken that no suspicion may be raised when Roman Catholics are secretly given more government jobs than Protestants, Jews, and other heretics. And just one more quote of many that I have listed here would have to be what was given the official Vatican imprimatur by Cardinal Hayes, wherein they declared that constitutions can be changed and non-Catholic sects may decline to such a point that the political prescription or ban of them may become feasible and expedient. What protection would they have against a Catholic state? Now, check out this one-minute video I did way back in July of 2017.
Thank you for watching. God bless.